Hey. hey. He does look Danish. Adam Warlock. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Phil. I'm Erica. And today we're watching The Bear Season 2, Episode 4. Let's dive in. Oh. Yeah, that's what you're saying, like it's a full rebuild now. It's not like... We have to schedule a second deep clean because our building's now considered a biohazard. And we only have a couple walls left standing. Why? Why did we get rejected? Well, because we filed for a new name. We, they, Mikey, weren't operating correctly because they were never doing business as. So now we have to file to what? do business as the bear mm. and pay a fine for not doing business as the bear. Oh my gosh. Because according to the IRS, we're assholes. So it's a money thing? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Should I? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the DBA is stressing me out. I can't be there right now and healing all hey. that crap. Hey, hmm. you okay? Say it. Yeah, don't tell anyone, okay? This is my problem, and I don't want this to change no anything. Problem. Okay, I don't want to be treated any different. Okay. She wants to be there. I am completely terrified. And don't take this like I'm not excited because I am so excited. Oh my god. Because of how we grew up and everything in our lives, I really want this to be loving and good and happy. I just don't want anyone to know. Sure. Okay? Like I happen. really don't want Richie to know. It was gonna break. Because somehow yeah. it feels more in my control to decide when and who pregnant. No, no, that. Congratulations! Oh. <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh. I gotta get on a plane, go overseas. You know, you know how I feel about that. I'm excited. Um, and while I'm there, I gotta come up with three really great desserts. Is that Copenhagen? Yeah. Mm. I'm a little nervous about it because I really don't want to mess up. They have up. the best restaurant in the but world. I am excited. Copenhagen? I think. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, while I'm gone, Christy's here, Chester's here, and I'm always a call away if you need anything. Let me see your passport. Dude, I have it. No, well, then show me that shit. I have my fucking passport. Bro, you're talking to Mr. Intercontinental. You know how many times I forgot that bitch? Show it. All right, fine, whatever, fuck. Oh, shit. Dude, are you for real? Dude. Are you oh, kidding me? He's lying. Yeah, come on, mm -hmm. fucking with you, it's right don't here. All right, I love you, uh, Dad. Love you, too. All right. All right. Oh, and do not bring IKEA <laughs> out there. Really? In Sweden, mm -hmm. not Denmark. They don't mess with that. I had to learn the wrong way. Just walk on the boat. It is. <laughs> Oh, like an Airbnb or something. Oh. <laughs> just walk on a random <laughs> boat. No, I mean, I know you found it, but I just figured there'd be some kind of security, like... Mm. Mm. Nah, I couldn't do this. Some are really nice, though. Yeah, I know. Number two last one. No. I wouldn't want that either. Bitch. Mm -hmm. Hmm? You want to do the Ted Lasso one mm -hmm. in um, Amsterdam? I feel like I could smell that boat. Like, mm. It's like, no. It's not like cooking. Is that it? <laughs> Whoa, I'm surprised I remember. Is Denmark in a place where like the sun never fully sets too? Not in the winter. This is probably like late afternoon, already getting dark. Damn. Hey. hey! He does look Danish. Adam Warlock. Uh, I'm Marcus Brooks. I'm from. I know, I'm Luca. A Street. Start 5 a.m. Is he English? In real life? Yeah, sure. Where's he from? They're all English. Every actor. <laughs> it says everything counts too. It's out there? Mm hmm. Hmm. 
So that's six o'clock, that's always facing the guest. And nuzzle that slither into the pudding just to lock it in. Yes, sir. Oh. No, clockwise, chef. Start the same way. Uh, yes, chef. No, again, chef. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Mm. Worse. Don't be afraid to just stick it in there, you know? Just be confident about it. Don't second guess yourself. Yes, sir. You know how to make cheese sauce gelée? Yes, sir. <laughs> the fuck is dextrose? Moto dextrose. Recipe. Thank you, chef. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we're just looking for somebody these first few days, five days a week. Mm -hmm. I just can't do Fridays. Well, your resume is incredible. Thank you. When can I talk to the chef? You are. Mm. So, we're just looking for somebody who can commit to a pretty full schedule. Heard. I'm there. You are hired. <laughs> so, is she's doing Carmi a favor to train this guy on whatever and... He's staging. I'm guessing it's kind this of like... A Cornell. Apprenticeship. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I'm not too hot. Maria is still getting help. Back. Interesting. Wondered. Like, because they all, in fine, yeah. it's always a that. like oblong shape. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. Try again. Yeah. Okay, I mean, no. That's <laughs> not good. That was not good. <laughs> the place I'm staying at is a boat. <laughs> oh, the restaurant is beautiful. It smells really good in there. And. I'm really happy I'm here. I really wish you were here too. Wow, that's the gelatin thing that they made? Yeah. Like Operation. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah. It kind of tastes like a, um. Minty snack as well? A minty Snickers bar. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> hey, Marcus! Brookside! How good up, is Brooks? Copenhagen? Dude, it's so sick out here. I'm living on a boat right now. What up, Brooks? Yo, no, fact, ask him. Ask me what? Okay, the fire suppression guy is here right now. Hmm. When was the last time you guys did this? Um, I think never. No secrets. No alliance. Dude, shit. we're best friends. We can tell secrets. We're gonna tell secrets. Fucking That's secrets. what we do. If this club pops, we can't turn the gas on, and Carmi is literally gonna go full loose boots on us. It's not gonna pop. It's gonna pop. It's, it's gonna, gonna pop. That's gonna pop. It's not, not gonna pop. pop. It's popping. It popped. It popped. It popped. Yeah. Oh. Well. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I crept up on my girl. Who's Coco? I don't actually think there is a fucking cat. <laughs> so how long you been a cook? About a year and a half. For you? Uh, fourteen years now. Well, when did he start? Uh, <laughs> close enough. Yeah. What do you say? I don't know what age you said, but like. Basically, uh, like, oh, did you start uh, when you were like young? From Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. I worked at the phone company for like five years and then McDonald's. Out uh, of high school? I played Division three football in college. Oh, shit. What position were you? Outside linebacker. Okay. What does the outside linebacker do? Cover the end and protect the pass. And you loved it? Yeah, I loved it. And four years ago, my mom got sick. So I was trying to find a better job. And I always used to get lunch at this beef spot. And the owner was, he was really tight, but also really out of his fucking mind. And he wanted to open a bakery. So I stopped making Big Macs and I learned how to make bread. And yeah. How's your mom doing? You know, they say the expectancy was only a couple of years. And that was. Four years ago, so. Hmm. How'd you get good at this? Practice. Honestly, I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> That's the secret? Just fuck up? Yeah. It might be, you know, fuck <laughs> up. I think as I started early, 
I got my skill set up really quick and then started to feel like I was really the best, you know? And this other chef started the same day as me. And I thought we were competition, uh, but really we weren't. Like, he was better than me, much, much better than me. He worked harder and faster than I ever could. And it was the first time I realized that I wasn't the best. Hmm. So I started looking at it like it was a good thing. Like, at least I knew who the best was now, and I could take that pressure off myself. Hmm. And the only logical thing to do was to try and keep up with him. Oh, mate, I got better than I ever thought I possibly could be just from trying to keep up with him. It's Carmi? Mm. Like Pippin. Mm. He's Pippin. Scotty Pippin. He was like that with Michael Jordan. Who's Michael Jordan? Fuck it. What? I know, I know you know who Michael Jordan is. <laughs> yeah, no, we've heard of him in London, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess, uh... Hmm. You know, most of the incredible things I've eaten... That's good. ...haven't been because the skill level is exceptionally high or there's loads of mad, fancy techniques. It's because it's been really inspired. Hmm. You know? I like that. You can spend all the time in the world in here, but if you don't spend enough time out there... Right. You know? So was it worth it? The time you put in? I don't know. Ask me tomorrow. He's like a pretty great guy to get this teaching from. Mm. Oh. We put it on top. Sorry, 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 fuck. Um, oh. This fuck is on your fucking... It's on your neck. All right, on the count of three. Go one, two, three. I understand. You all right? Yeah. You got a lot of... You got blood, man. You all right? Wait, can you hear me? Hello? How's it going? What's up? I'm having a great time. Call me European Marcus. That's my name. That's what everyone calls me out here. Fancy now. Oh, guess what? We failed the fire suppression test. Mm. Yeah, so I'm not there to help. No, you do not need to be here at all. I'm really happy that you're over there. And you're like, enjoy yourself. I do feel a little guilty, though, not being home. I don't know. I keep having this mm -hmm. nightmare that... Christy's calling me, telling me that my mom's dead. And then I wake up and everything is fine. And I don't know. I, I get that. But also, she's OK, you know? Like, she's with people who oh, care gosh. about her and are taking care of her. And it'd be too obvious, right? To be enjoying yourself. Like, you can't take care of her if you're not taking care of you, you know? Hmm. Ugh. I miss you, man. I miss you, too. Oh, shit. Hello? <laughs> no, that's just her face. <laughs> <laughs> I can play too much. It was a little bit scary. I saw my face during that moment. It's it's okay. I'm going to sleep. That cute little white dookie. Isn't that good? So that's caviar on honey, sweet and salty. This is my life. Fifty-two dollars. He's making this, this is his own thing. Dang. But isn't it like more than oh. that? Like, don't you have to? Doesn't it have to make sense with the rest of the menu too? Mm. Or 
Is that not really a fire? It's just like a la carte. <laughs> One bite. <laughs> a lot of them are just. <laughs> Was that something? Mm. Hey! Randy Yusuf! Okay. We like that guy. Okay. Oh man. You gotta watch Mo. Again. <laughs> Interesting. We got Copenhagen, Marcus. Hmm. What do you think of the episode? The episode. The was episode. <laughs> cool. Yeah, no, it's interesting. More dramatic, I think. <sighs> do you think it felt more like a drama? It definitely felt different it, than the like, rest of the episodes. Like definitely a slower, much slower pace yeah. than what we're used to. It makes sense that it was a different director. Mm -hmm. um, like I don't, I can't speak much to his style, but like, yeah, it definitely felt different. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like like I was saying at the end of that, like it's for me, it's hard to read uh, Marcus and how he's really feeling. What like are you it, trying to read? Oh, I like see. I feel like he's sad. Yeah, he does. And like so. he's not that he's not at home, but also. I, I couldn't read what that emotion was when he was talking to Sid. I don't know what he's like. What, what he was feeling at the end when he was smiling. Like, what's he? Like, is he happy that he got it? I don't. Like, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I think he's happy that he created something that works well. It looks like it works well. Maybe, maybe it's like the conversation that he was having with um, Will, Will Poulter, the, the, the chef here. Uh, that question he asked him was like, was it worth it, all that time that you put in? Maybe he's just kind of like looking at this being that kind of season mm -hmm. for him, like mm -hmm. being away or whatever, mm -hmm. like, and it being worth it. Um, cause he's what did like, he say? Yeah. He said, ask me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know yet. Oh, damn. 14 years, I don't know yet. And maybe that, that in and of itself was the answer, like, you don't, you're like never done. You just kind of keep creating, keep going. But... I don't know. Both of them felt not happy, not fulfilled. <laughs> the guy, the chef. The chef, and like during that sure conversation. Him. Yeah, yeah. Like he doesn't seem like he's happy at all. Not, not, not at all. But like, he's not where he wants to be. Hmm. You know, he, like he, he had ambitions of being the best, and um, now he's like babysitting somebody hmm. that's only been working for a year as a cook. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So maybe that there's an ego thing there. It's a little worrisome because this episode I feel like is creating doubts in the character mm. in Marcus. And About? That's well, we were just saying, like, is it even worth it? Like him mm. being out here, like, what if his mom passes away while he's out yeah. there? Is it worth it? And then the previous episode with Sid having these expectations of whatever this partnership is and then people putting doubts in her mind i mean not you know intentionally but yeah so it's just interesting seeing like two characters that are so um what am i trying to say they're just very significant in their mm -hmm. role when it comes to the bear well across the board right i mean like tina's obviously Sad that Ibra's not there. Ibra's gone. Mm, like, uh, from culinary true. school. Um, but she Richie, looks like she's still gonna do it. Yeah, but Fair she's Richie. still not, like, having a good... Like, she... You could tell that she was sad that he wasn't there. Like, Richie is... Obviously, he's still dealing with everything mm -hmm. that Carmi's dealing with. I don't know. They're, they're all in a weird transitional spot. And I think mm -hmm. that's kind of... What this season is about. Hmm. Like, they're building up the restaurant. But they're also building themselves back up as a team. And kind of showing like the rawness of them like they're showing the rawness of the building like I don't know like tearing everything down and I think that's kind of what we're doing episode by episode with each of these characters we're diving into their personal more than we are the restaurant tearing down all the walls yeah yeah so it's like that's we're deep babe that's deep I'm a deep guy I mean, you're deep I'm a deep guy <laughs> But no, I think that that's kind of what's happening. Like we're we're, we're getting to know who they are as people. Mm, like yeah. I'm I'm really interested to see how it all comes together. Like I mm -hmm. I love that they're still driving towards this restaurant opening, and there's still gonna be that excitement of that. 
And it's coming, seven weeks out. But there's like lots of problems. I don't know, what's it gonna look like again? There's a problem literally with everyone. Except Fak. Fak is the real one. <laughs> it's I always mean, there. Yeah, but they're putting a lot on him <laughs> to figure all this stuff out. Everyone has a lot of responsibility, I guess. But at least they hired one person. Small that win. Random guy. He said yes, chef, and he said that he has availability, and that's it. Or no, he just said yes. He said heard, and she's like, yeah. Is he a chef? <laughs> I'm sure he is. I don't even know. <sighs> well, we'll see. We will see. All right. Uh, good episode. Hope you enjoyed that one. We'll see you for the next one. Peace.